It's a new year with new goals, and oftentimes the most popular New Year's resolutions are to lose weight by eating better and exercising more. But sometimes New Year's resolutions are hard to keep up with. Which is why we're here with wellness coach Casey Bubinski to learn the top ways to keep those New Year's resolutions on track. Casey's statistics show that only 8% of people who set New Year's resolutions and goals actually succeed in them. Why do you think that is? Well, actually, I think there's two reasons that I've seen. Um, one is they, one, they expect too much to happen too soon, and the second one is they expect to have to do too much to get to those goals. What are some good tips to help people set goals when they're looking at their New Year's resolutions? I feel a good way is using an acronym called SMART for setting goals. The S stands for specific, trying to be specific with what you're trying to accomplish with your goals. The M is measurable, goals should be measurable to know whether you're accomplishing it or not. Um, the A stands for attainable, the fact that people can actually get to their goals. Um, R is realistic, just that it is uh, something they can accomplish as well. Um, and the T is in a timely manner, because there should be a time frame to get to, to finish to that goal. Those are all really good tips, and I'm sure it helps people keep their motivation. Motivation is key, though, when it comes to any goals that you're setting, and that's probably the most important thing. Just People need a reason why. Um, a lot of people think they want to make some changes, but if they don't have strong enough reasons, things don't get done. And so they can only motivate themselves, really, in that way. Accountability is also really important when setting these goals. What do you recommend to stay accountable? There's a lot of different ways. The first thing is I would suggest people write down their goals. Once a goal is written down, then it, then it really exists. Then as they're proceeding to their goal, whether it's tracking, whether it's journaling in a, in a book, if it's keeping it on a smartphone and in a different app, um, and potentially even you know, seeing a wellness coach. And wellness coaching is something that is available right here at the Riverside Health Fitness Center. As a wellness coach, what do you help people achieve? Well, what we help people do is with setting those goals, we, we give them, we hope to give them a better idea of where they're at, what they're trying to accomplish, and then help them with realistic ways to, to get to their goals. And then we follow up with them too, just to see if they're going that path, we may stay the path, or if we have to make adjustments, whether it's turning things up or bringing things down, we can do what we have to do to help them. Casey, thanks for sharing this great advice. I think our key takeaways are following the SMART method when setting goals, identifying motivation, and establishing accountability. Sure, and one thing that's important too is when you set those goals, make them personal for you. Share your food for thought on social media and visit us at healthcurrents.com. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Health Currents Crave.